How's it going YouTube? This is Alex coming at you for T-Vape TV in the studio with a very special video for you today. Today we have the top five portable dry herb vaporizers of 2022. I am super excited to dive into this list as you can see it in front of me. We're gonna get into it, but first we gotta give this poster away and we're gonna give it away in this video. So make sure you watch till the end and you can figure out exactly who goes home with this poster. Thank you everyone for entering the contest. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Sitting in our number one spot is none other than the Zeus Arc GTS and the GTS Hub. The kit, in my humble opinion, is phenomenal value as it comes with the extruder, comes with 15 Arc Pods, and a pokey tool and little receptacle area for emptying and refilling those arc pods. It also can store said arc pods if you want to separate by flavor or strain is what I meant. I'm not gonna get too deep into any of these vaporizers or go over sort of the processes between, but I'll give you a slight overview of everything and link the videos in the corner if you wanna know any extra information. But I will give you a rundown of how the process works. Basically, you are going to fill these arc pods with this extruder. They fill them up super easily and conveniently, and the bottom actually pops out of the extruder when they are full. It is a single serve system that is incredibly easy easy to use. It basically minimizes the chore of cleaning your device as these pods will get dirty, but your actual device will not. It also minimizes packing and you can tee yourself up for a day out by packing 15 or 20 of them. I mean, I don't know, maybe that's crazy. I usually go through about four on a night out. Uh, maybe that's, that seems reason. I, I don't know. Do what you want to do. But my point is, is you can fill them up and then take them all on the go with you. No problem. Then all you're going to do is pop the mouthpiece off of the GTS and drop your pod right in and you're good to go. There are two different versions of the updated Zeus Arc. This one is called the GTS. It can be packed both with loose leaf dry herb or these pods. There is also an S model that is a little bit more budget friendly that can only be packed with the pods. To be honest, I don't see a downside in terms of vapor quality at all, but the device itself is an upgraded model from our favorite vaporizer of last year, the Zeus Arc GT. This version saw a few minor updates that provided a major upgrade to ease of use and the overall performance of the device. They've updated the heatsink in the mouthpiece so that it rips even more of the heat and the hits are incredibly smooth. Every GTS comes with the gold stir tool, which in my opinion looks super sexy. And also it has that same magnetic connection on the bottom that hides the micro USB port. One button operation, incredibly portable, shake for battery life, haptic feedback, 3500 milliamp hour battery, you really can't go wrong. But to me, the kicker is in the vapor quality. You can get robust, flavorful hits that are smooth and hard like the Rock's biceps and tanning season. Not to mention for less than the price of the majority of the devices on this list, you actually get the hub included. It retails for around 240 USD, and all of these factors combined is what makes it number one on our list. Coming in at number two is the Mighty Plus. The Mighty has always been one of our favorite devices, but the Mighty Plus improves on an already great design with things like a ceramic coated heating chamber, which allows for easier cleaning, and they've claimed it to be better flavor. I haven't really noticed a difference, but that's not really a problem for me because the Mighty has always had great convection flavor. It also now features a USB-C charging port, which, you know, no more proprietary charger, which is excellent. And that USB-C charging port is one of those smart ones or whatever that gets to 80% in 40 minutes, which is pretty awesome. While the changes are all under the hood, if you will, there's no real design changes to the device, except for they've made these buttons and this thing orange, I would argue that the Mighty Plus just takes a great device and makes it even better. It still has that same awesome cooling unit in the mouthpiece, it still has that same 90 minutes of battery life, and it still has full temperature control to up to 210 degrees Celsius. While I would appreciate that extra 10, 15 degrees of temperature, I understand that the Mighty has excellent flavor, I just would love to see full extraction on a future model, something that goes up to 220 or 225 or 230, anything over 230, you're really pushing it, unless you're using it with wax. But that being said, it still pumps out a fantastic amount of great tasting paper. The biggest downside in my opinion is just that 400 USD price tag, but if you're willing to splash the cash, this is a seriously good device. And that's why it comes in at number two. 
In our number three spot is none other than the Utilion 722. The 722 is incredibly easy to use. It has four temperature settings and a boost mode. It has one button operation. It is well built. It has that wide open airflow, which is really nice. And the magnetic mouthpiece and little dugout area here allows for easy loading. The Utilion 722 is essentially a budget version of the Mighty. Retailing at around 150 USD, the 722 can pump out an amazing amount of potent, flavorful clouds. Seriously, this thing knocks me out. It does an excellent job of extracting your herbs, especially with that top boost temperature of 225 degrees Celsius. It also works really well with waxes and concentrates, just putting it out there. It features a 2300 milliamp hour battery, which will last you generally about 60 minutes of continuous use. And it recharges with a micro USB cable the port being at the bottom of the device. It's slightly larger than most dryer vaporizers, but it still fits in your hand or pocket really well. The 722, in my opinion, is a great two-in-one device, and that nice design coupled with how easy it is to use and how powerful the vapor is secures it in our number three spot. Again, it is the most budget-friendly device on this list, coming in at 150 USD. And that's part of the reason we highly recommend it. Sitting in our number four spot is none other than the Ariser Solo 2. I absolutely love this device. I've had mine for like five years now, and it still chugs along. It is an absolute workhorse of a vaporizer. It's built incredibly sturdy, unless you count the glass mouthpiece, which I've broken maybe three of them in the five years, so that's not actually that bad. They're not super expensive. A riser does a really good job at pricing their pieces that have a higher frequency of breaking, and they do a really good job with warranty as well. It also has precise temperature control that goes up to 220 degrees Celsius, which is awesome. It's a great extractor, and the flavor is pretty good because of this long glass stem. It also cools the vapor down really well before it hits your lips. It's not the most portable device on the market as, you know, it's pretty hefty and the glass mouthpieces will definitely have to be carried around in some sort of case. A riser does give you a little belt clip case that has room on the sides for two of your glass stems. I wouldn't recommend putting it on your belt. I would recommend taking it and then throwing it in a backpack. But like, if you wanna pretend you're a dad from the 90s with a cell phone holster, absolutely do that. The kicker is that the Ariser Solo 2 has three hours of battery life. Yeah, sure, it's with a proprietary charger, fine. But three hours is among the biggest, if not the absolute biggest battery on the market. The Solo 2 retails at around 270 USD. But the fantastic cool vapor, the excellent battery life, the great build quality, and just how much of a workhorse this vaporizer is secures it in our number four spot. Coming in at number five is none other than the Crafty Plus. You know the high quality build of Stores and Bickle is always going to be good and the Crafty Plus is no exception. One button operation, German engineering, great flavor, and powerful vapor are all reasons to love this guy. They've also updated the charging port to be USB-C now to copy the Mighty, which is excellent. There are three temperature settings to choose from without the app and with the app you have full temperature control up to that 210 degrees Celsius. The battery will last you about 60 minutes of continuous use but with that updated USB-C port it also has that smart charging thing that gets to 80% in about 40 minutes which is great. Again the vapor quality on the Crafty Plus is great. It has that same cooling unit in the mouthpiece and its rugged compact design allows it to be taken around for nights out without worrying about if you're gonna drop it. It also fits in your hand really well. I might just bring a battery pack along cause 60 minutes is a little bit on the low side. It depends on your usage. It retails for about 280 USD. But the great vapor quality, the good construction, and the updated USB-C firmly seals it in our number five spot. And that's it. Hope this helped you make some decisions. Which vaporizer are you going to choose? Do you have one of these already? How do you like it? How do you think my list stacks up against your list? Do you have any suggestions? 
please drop these things in the comments below. I always wanna hear what people think. Thank you so much for watching this video. Forgot to give away the poster. Okay, the winner of this poster is Louise Torres. So Louise, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. We are going to comment on your comment, letting you know how we can send it out to you. Thank you so much again, everyone for entering. And we will have a new poster in the studio in the next video. So I'm looking forward to that. Thank you for watching. And until next time, keep vaping.